Hey guys, have you ever wondered why the body positivity movement is the only movement without movement? How did you ever wonder if the movement has ever been a movement? Like, listen, I'm fat, but okay. I would never condone anyone for being fat. Like, You're being not fat, fat though. Okay, well, okay, I'm, I'm, <laughs> let's just say I'm chubby, right? I'm chubby, but the reason I can't lose weight is because I have no discipline with food. But yeah, if I same. had it... Dude, I would be, dude, like you have no idea how much I would love to like not be chubby. And then the fact that there are people outside going like, oh, no, that's fine. You should love the way you look like, okay, like just, just don't be fat. I mean, you don't I'm think you should love because you don't, don't think know. you don't love the way that or you don't think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No. Yeah, you should fucking you don't hate love the way that you're fat. Love. Yeah, you should. Uh, no, do you I hate yourself, Sam. Him? I do you need to? No, not the hate. I just, I just, I just don't, don't like it. So you yep, don't, yep, yep, you don't like yourself. You're like Cynthia. Why do you uh, like me? Wait. I'm Ugo. That's what you're like. Okay, every day. okay, stop, stop, man, stop. Okay, listen. I don't like that I'm chubby. Not like I mean, of course, I'm not like the most attractive person on the planet. But so I'm just you, talking about weight. You're not crying every day that you're obese. Uh, no. Good. I mean, that's kind of what it sounded like based on what yeah, you were you're just like, saying. Yeah, you're like... Crying? I'm big. It literally wasn't. I wish I'm, I was I'm a little skinny. chubby. <laughs> I'm a little chubby. <laughs> like, imagine being Boogie2988. Oh, my God. Okay, no, no, Isn't no, no, he skinny no, now? Uh, dude, no, he's skinny. fat as fuck. And he mean, has to, like, dude, not he's obese. lost some... He's not 600 pounds. He's, like, 300 instead of 600. Uh, dude, that's what you that mean. fucking cunt has <laughs> like, okay. such... Dude, Skinny. that cunt has such weird teeth, am I right? Or or not? Um, he literally removed teeth? all of his teeth and replaced them. That is with, so like, Dude, he oh. looks so fucking weird. You no, you like, should have seen his old teeth, bro. Oh, no, 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 had, no like, yeah, I know what it looked like. Left. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But, I mean, can we agree that it looks worse now? Like, it's just, what? like, such an obvious... Shut the fuck up. Just listen, listen. <laughs> like, right now... Like, whenever that guy, like, is in a thumbnail or whatever, uh, because I've seen a couple of thumbnails where people, like, talk about him, or or even he makes, a, a, like, like a thumbnail of him, of himself, and with his big fucking, like, bleach smile, it looks, like, creepy rather than good. Like, listen, don't get me wrong. The, like, you know, like, a good smile can be, like, so fucking, like, sexy, right? But then, with that fucking set of teeth, he looks even more disgusting, not gonna lie. Damn, I'm so sad that Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight isn't mm. sexy. <laughs> but like, do you wish he was okay. sexier, Sam? You can like say yeah, his actually. new teeth look creepy, and I might be inclined to agree. But in comparison to his old teeth, no way, dude. He literally had like two teeth, dude. <laughs> it was so bad. Nah, it looks nah, it looks worse now, by the way. No, no, you just he haven't be, looked uh, at his old teeth in a while. You forgot. I have. Dude. He could be a BBM, but. You know, a BBM? Some, what's, what's a BBM? A BBM? A, no, wait. A, it's a BBW. It's a big, beautiful woman. So it's a big, beautiful man. Big, yeah. beautiful man. Yeah. Have you guys I never mean, seen that? Uh, that, that oh, poem, I was. I uh, was category. I was getting confused with BWC for a second. Or BBC? No, Max. You like BBC? no? That's B big white cock. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so you like BBC. Wait, racist, racist. Oh, you don't like black uh, cock? No, I didn't man. say that. Wait, Just when that's kind of racist, not going to lie. When you said that's those letters, racist. that's, that's what I thought of. I mean, what listen, if you're, just, if you're just talking about the, the, you know, the genitals, BAC hello? That if you're just talking about the... <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine, I'm, not, I'm, okay, I'm just not going to talk. <laughs> now you know how I feel. I was listening to what Sam said. What the hell? I was listening and talking at the same time. Yeah, it's called multitasking. <laughs> oh god, he's gone quiet again, like that episode uh -oh. of Mario Galaxy. <laughs> that was so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Except it lasted, it didn't it last multiple episodes? It would have been. Yeah, funny I if think it was, it was like one. two episodes or something. <laughs> That's so funny. I never stopped for two episodes. What the fuck? Yeah, no, you got really depressed about something. Yeah, I think Hell it was because no. like, we told you talking. to stop saying two plus two is. Oh my god! Three. Yeah, <laughs> two plus two <laughs> is <laughs> four minus one. Oh god. god. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I got mad about that. Oh, you got mad when we told you to stop about that. Hmm. I wonder what happened to the Mario Galaxy Two race. By the way, I don't Clearly know. Clearly, someone hasn't finished scrubbing it. it. 
I still have all the original thing. Wait, was I editing? Reupload so. retro TTT premiere them all. Oh my god! I please could. No. <laughs> no. Just on well, a if you have the channel. raw versions, you can go into the into Premiere and render them with like bleeps over the n words or whatever. It would be better than cutting them out in YouTube. I think and I the uploads are so ancient. Hmm. The, the current uploads are so ancient, anyways, and like fucked up. That's like, who cares if we re-upload them? Really? Wait, I think. Can that's... anyone tell me? Wait, Max. Okay, listen. Maybe not now, or maybe later. You definitely have to tell me a part where you watch a video and like it doesn't make sense because it's like desynced or whatever. After I, I watch sent them, you a time, there's stamp. not a single, there's not a singular time in which I watched that video or any of those videos. That was like kind of fucked up. Well, maybe YouTube fixed it now. That was like what three years ago or something when you started doing that. Mm, I think so. Yeah. So maybe they fixed but, their um, janky editor. I've, 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 I've never, never had a problem with it. It's just you coping and crying. I literally, I literally sent you like the video with timestamps. I don't know where it is, but I know. But I, I do not remember. I do not remember. Well, maybe that's you coping it being and crying. Shit. Then. Well, I mean, you're the one that's crying. I'm not crying about anything. You're the one crying about your body positivity or lack. Yeah, you're the one that... crying about being too chubby when you're like 200 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'm like six two, and I'm a fucking beast. Isn't 200 and I'm a pounds normal? Skinny for six twink, two? but you don't hear me crying about it. <laughs> Doing. <laughs> I don't. I don't know the normal weight for whatever. Your BMI is probably average. I think my BMI is actually <laughs> obese. <laughs> Or like no, I think mine might Look be up. a little obese too, but I'm not sure. Because I'm like it five, would only be I'm like by five, Elbipa. I'm like five six and like one sixty. I think that's technically obese, or like close to it. But BMI I'm like is really shitty, so don't use it. One eighty and six feet. So. Might be the same BMI as you, honestly. Yeah, it's fucked anyway. No, I don't give a fuck. Out of, I'm, out not, of I'm not trying to get abs. I give a fuck. No, me neither. Yeah. I'd rather play RuneScape and make yeah. videos. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather make money <laughs> off RuneScape than be poor and buff, dude. <laughs> like, great, you're a hobo and jacked. Who cares? Like, <laughs> Yo, the channel has been popping recently, not gonna lie. TTT? No, <laughs> no, no <laughs> fucking of course TTT. not. <laughs> <laughs> my, Funny. My fucking well, RuneScape channel. you said the channel and we're on this. Yeah, that this was also my channel. first thought, too. I was like, wait, you, you what? You literally, should... said, it's you literally said your RuneScape channel, and then I said, the channel has been <laughs> popping off. What? My bad. You're also okay, prone yeah. to just switching topics like that, so it would have made sense. Okay, okay, okay. Understandable. But uh, I don't check any of the analytics or comments on TTT, so like... Me neither. If, I check you... the comments. I reply to people. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. So if we TTT have some consistent responds, viewers. it's Max. It's Max. Yeah, it's shout amazing. out to shout out to Jacob. Jacob. I pretty much heart all the comments. <gasps> oh my god. And Jamie. Just gotta... She's Dude. a loyal loyal viewer now. Too. Yes. I just got a good drop in RuneScape. Let's fucking go. Let's go, ah! uh, let's go oh I guess. Um, isn't there like a new hater we have? Oh wait! Oh the fucking oh, yeah. guy on Twitter. There was like a guy on Twitter guy who on mentioned Twitter. TTT like it was like relevant, and I'm like, what the fuck? Did yeah. I haven't. Did I haven't? Uh, I, like, I genuinely haven't heard of it. They never like, replied my, to my tweet that mm -hmm. I sent. So yeah, my initial understanding of it is like, all right, I. So here's the thing, right? We haven't severely fucking edgy like over the like maybe in like what five plus years uh, ago, whatever. Yeah. At least. Um. But at what point? Have we gone after, like, actually, like, hey, let's go after this person because they're gay? Like, what? I mean, we've, we, dude, we definitely make fun of gays because of Max. We like make fun I said, of I think that Josh. they were, they might we have been talking about, because of me. about, like, the stuff you said, you guys said, or like, say about me or something. I don't know. But, like, I'm literally a part of it, so it's fine. So, I don't um, know. Yeah. Do you have like a link to the tweet for context? Because I don't remember exactly what it said. Uh, I, like I, can, get, I can give it to you. It might be it's, good it's, to post in the chat for in like my, editing yeah. in later too. So yeah, the, oh yeah, okay, okay. I just found it. I just found out. Okay. So Let's you guys are seeing it, it word for here. word. I'll read. I'll do the Twitter verses right now. <laughs> Live Twitter so, verses. Yeah. <laughs> With and I also tweet. didn't. So see, the reason why I didn't keep on going is because like. Even though I know we've been like edgy as fuck in the past, 
Like I just I just really didn't want to fucking deal with like you know, oh whatever. shit! I mean, it's a you whole actually threat, had a so. back and forth with this person. It wasn't just one tweet. I thought it was just one yeah. tweet. Yeah, no. I mean, it's a whole I was just like maybe finding out because like it's the you know what you know what was like uh you know kind of bothering me about this uh you know about this tweet, the fact that it was talking about you, Josh. I, I think the initial thing was like, oh yeah, we're talking about Josh, but then. He was, you know, that person was not making sense. And then all of a sudden was like either me or like TTT in general. So like I was like, I kept replying because I was like, all right, you're literally not making sense. Like, who the fuck are you talking about? And then it started talking about like Ethan or like, I, I think this all stemmed from, yeah, you guys are seeing the tweet, you know, somewhere on the screen. This all stemmed from me like replying to Josh, like, oh yeah, you're a fucking genuine dude, whatever. And then I go like, yeah, don't give a fuck about hyena trying to expose you, whatever. And then this person goes like, who the fuck would try to expose him? And it's like, uh, did the entire fucking Ethan Klein subreddit bunch of fucking deranged mental hyenas, like, go after him? Yeah. And it's like, oh, no, no, no. So whatever. Did I just like, I kept on going because it genuinely didn't make any sense. But I was, did at one point I was just like, fuck, no. Yeah, let me do a full read of this real quick so we get the uh Yeah, the we need the, the live Twitter So I tweet out, um, I'm blessed in life to have so many people interested in watching my videos. Thank you all so much. You respond, deserved genuine dude, strong mental through all hurdles involving deranged cum gargling, hyenas <laughs> hating, and trying to expose you. I love how you say stuff. Uh, then re the reject dreams, which I'm just going to say reject for short. Uh, and that's their name, by the way. They're... So, non-insult. <laughs> Just uh, reject says. Say name. Why would someone try to expose him? It's not like you are a serial. It's not like you were serial harassers that like spreading hate, but never like when it comes back to bite you. You guys clearly are good people who wouldn't harm anyone. And if you have something to hide, then it then it would be a long night. Obviously, being sarcastic. Um, yeah. The fuck. Sam responds. <laughs> Have you not seen how the absolute maniac basement dwelling, lonely rat bastards from the H3 hive <laughs> have tried to fuck Which with him true. in the past? People who are terminally online will dictate their lives to bring someone down dedicate. on or dedicate. Sorry, I read that wrong. You didn't spell it wrong. I just read it wrong uh, yeah. on Reddit and Twitter. What H3 has been fostering for years? Reject responds, I'm not really interested in what H3 or his fans do. I'm not saying he's perfect, but you of all people should take your own advice. You are throwing stones in a glass house. You mock and belittle people all the time, especially on your podcast. Downplaying yeah, which the is, harassment. That, that I agree with. That I agree with, right? This this podcast is just like basically a sarcastic way of making fun of like bullshit that we don't like or we disagree with, yeah? But... Sure. We, we we never go for someone, like, maliciously, like, oh, get him, get him, plus what? The two people that watch us are going to go, like, yes, get him. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah, like we I even want, have, like, an actual yeah, yeah, audience. Anyway. We have zero power over anything. <laughs> yeah. It's not like fucking H3 and this fucking <laughs> yeah. 10,000 people in subreddit. If I yeah. wanted to, like, go after someone or something like that, I wouldn't do it on TTT. I would do it on a platform that would actually make an impact. No offense <laughs> yeah. to this channel. Uh, so no, re re so Reject responds by saying, uh, when it comes to your behavior, it's just harmless jokes. Uh, in quotation he, he, had a is, yeah. he had when, a second half of that last tweet you were reading. Oh, uh, okay. Let's it. go back to... the one that starts with you. Yeah, let's be thorough. Time. Downplaying the harassment you've done to others. I wanted to play in the... You wanted to play in the drama Olympics. Don't act surprised when the same vitriol you throw at others is done the same to you. Josh has five YouTube accounts. His biggest is about petty drama or is about petty online drama to call others terminally online is irony at its peak. Then mm -hmm. uh, you respond by saying we mock and belittle people with harmless jokes, mention them for a few minutes and move on. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a subreddit where others pick and target and mass harass people. Literally grasping at straws, your comparison was wildly inept. Uh, reject respond. Oh my god, they respond with a lot. <laughs> okay. Reject responds, when it comes to your behavior, it's just harmless jokes. When others treat you the exact same, it's harassment. Do you not understand how hypocritical you are? 
Boblox uses his fame to expose others' faults. I see the Reddit you're complaining about does the exact same to him. Just two months he was exposed for showing his audience he was harassing others with an alt. Okay, I wasn't, but... Boblax uses his channel to air out others' dirty laundry, even though who he features tells him how scummy he's being profiting off of others. Why... Why are you acting higher than thou, H3H3? Well, you're acting higher than thou, saying that I can't make money off of drama content, and that's sure. inherently yeah. scummy. Anyway, Reject continues by saying... And you don't just use harmless jokes. You get private information, hack their channel, stalk them for years, <laughs> and torment them. You went after someone just because they are gay? How are you going to explain this once it becomes public knowledge or common knowledge? You can't just blow off, uh, blow it off as jokes. So complete fan fiction there. I, don't, I actually yeah, literally. genuinely don't know what they're talking about. Me, uh, I don't know. Max responds. Like, respond listen, listen. Uh -huh. Max even Wait, no, yeah yeah let's finish mm -hmm. yeah finish. let's finish Max even <laughs> responds by saying we have a token gay on the team so it's okay <laughs> and then Sam says Chab. one you keep saying you but then swapping to Josh and his channel who is it then two I'm higher than H three because I don't use my audience to harass others or let them do it on Reddit three please show me where I have hacked a channel or go or going after someone for being gay. Uh, reject responds. Do you deny? Do, do you deny doing so? Do you want me to prove it? And, and then, then he, he never proves prove it. it, dude. It's been <laughs> yeah. ten days. What's the proof? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> like my my initial, or you know, what I wanted to say with that is, so if you were to tell me, oh, you remember when you were bullying and harassing that little kid? You know, the fucking bronze. All right, I I agree with that. Kid was being cringe. You remember when in Super Mario 64 we were making fun of that fucking like massive blob like you know that was like fucking uh I don't even remember the name we were just making fun of like someone Oh like, wasn't it like the pony Super person? Mario. Oh yeah, yeah I think it was. <laughs> Which I think I told you that I originally started like making fun of on Twitter then got blocked eventually because it's like the person was asking for donations like on either Twitter and like a GoFundMe or something. And then like literally the day prior like they the, the day after that person bought like two boxes of Pokemon cards and it's like, dude, hello. Oh like, yeah. I, I, I literally that. made fun of that person, yes, for like begging, but then buying Pokemon if cards. If I was a yeah. yeah. Like SMT, dude. We've had dude fucking PK Sparks, Cabana Ready for dude, we've I will admit that we have made fun of so many people on this channel. Well, the I feel like in those a last malicious two people way, uh -huh. are kinda like in a different category. Like, mm -hmm. like we don't like actually interact with with them yeah we didn't really have any direct like interaction these, we just these talked larger about people them, that but we not talk to about. them yeah but yeah. like smt bronze and then i don't know the, even like, i guess pony this person. pony person to an extent is like people <laughs> that we have actually interacted the pony with. person though was kind of ridiculous and it is yeah. if i was a drama youtuber at the time with the pony person mm -hmm. that 100 percent would have been a video <laughs> bronze <laughs> oh my god undeserved yeah. uh smt we went too far but he's cool with it now so whatever yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah. The only other it's thing that I can think of is that and Bronze they were forgives talking me. I don't know about Sam. I think he forgives Sam too. I don't think Bronze cares either. So. I yeah. mean, I still don't like the fucking kid, but it's whatever. The but only yeah, other so thing overall, that I can think of that he's talking about is you guys like talking about me being gay, which doesn't yeah, really make that, any like, sense. It's like, Joe, like, I mean, I've, I'm I've never said part anything of the like team. Yeah, part of the team. So you guys can call me like, I mean, I'm not going to say racist, all right? But you can you can tell me like fucking, oh yeah, go swim over the river, go climb over the border, go fucking mow some lawns or something. And I'll, dude, I'll, I'll laugh about it. <laughs> and I'll mow the so, lawns, dude, and make some bad. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, maybe so, he's yeah. talking about you guys doing that at a time where I was not really like out or like comfortable with my sexuality. Uh, oh, back then, yeah. When you like, were like I can on think the, about, on the like, fence about it, right? Yeah, when we were doing like Mario sixty four, I remember mm -hmm. that being kind of a heated thing for me. But <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I don't know. I don't Max, like hold a gay. grudge. No, or let's restart. Again. Restart. The yeah, recording. it's true. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, we're good pals. It, it so, was. Yeah, it was, was funny a, looking back. I in was retrospect, really yeah. Yeah. So this person so, very clearly yeah. likes I, our. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure in Mario 64, at a certain point, I legitimately tried to not say it, but it just kept slipping out, dude. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I, I just say, like, whatever. I don't really have... I guess my filter wasn't as good back then. Um, yeah, me too. 
It's never really been that good. <laughs> um, but that's like yeah, the only thing I can think that? of he's talking about. I yeah, kind of wish yeah, that he too. elaborated more. Yeah. It was so weird. But, I think, yeah, let's just forget about it. Because I'd like to know if we bullied someone else for shit. being gay. Like, I don't think we've ever done that. Like, I can I can guarantee you that if we ever did that in a malicious way, Max would have definitely been like, hey, I'm kind of cool with that. Yeah, yeah, especially recently. Like, I don't think I would have. Yeah. I think I would have, like, called us out or I wouldn't have done it or I don't know. Yeah. Or, like, made a joke out of it at the very least or something. Mm. Yeah, true. So it was really weird. Yeah, I think the hacking he's talking about, though, is, like, SMT when we had his account. You know the one thing I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Like, the one thing I remember... Like, the one thing I remember that wasn't even a hack, you guys remember... I think we talked about this in... Uh, what do you call it? In, in another TTT or, like, a video. The fact that... One of so- uh, Sonic, one of one of uh, fucking SMT's friends, was like, "Hey, I got his uh, did I guess this password? That's Smash fan, and look, here are some <laughs> of his emails, like whatever." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, that's cool." But then you know, I never asked for like his like his email. I never went on his email, never did anything. And then SMT changed this password like ten minutes later when didn't he I guess, change out. it to like stop one two three four or something? <laughs> i think so yeah <laughs> it was just really stop funny one, two, we three. didn't really do anything super malicious yeah, with it. So but, i mean malicious, we were so. pretty malicious back then but he's cool with it yeah. and we did a whole ttt where i apologized to him right yeah, yeah where you literally had a like a whole questionable things right wait what about questionable things when you know you remember the the TTT trial where you say SMT, can you say the word? <laughs> oh yeah, cunt? that's that was yeah. I mean that was bad. No, I was kidding. Um, for sure. But uh, yeah, it is but what, it yeah, is. It, it, what, what I'm what I'm shocked about with that mm-hmm. guy is that he actually knows any of this shit, man. Yeah, he's definitely like yeah, a weird. fan or something. Like that's <laughs> yeah, pretty fan gone wrong. Like, that's he's, kind of, that's fan, really he's one of the he's one of the true guys, dude. He's one of the OGs. Yeah, yeah that's like so, so interesting. So, so in a way, kind of respected. So you know, that's basically how my story started with like Rose Gore. You know, watching a you know watching as a like a genuine fan, but then you realize the guy's a pedophile. So it's like, yeah, I kind of don't roll with this anymore. Push. So. This guy's gonna go on a you... whole campaign trying to get us canceled. Oh, true. Now. But the thing is, the way we acted back then, which some of it mm. was obviously bad, uh, we don't do that anymore. Current day, whereas Gross no, Gore was dude, getting we, worse, dude, and we, worse and uh, worse and worse. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I don't know what's this. And also, dude, like, the guy we were was, never Yeah, the guy pedos. was, like, sexually assaulting people, like, up, up to, like, 2019, so. But then I don't remember us doing anything, like, bad, bad. Yeah, for, I don't like, remember what, For, like, five him. years plus. Yeah, like, we never ra- <laughs> raped. <laughs> we weren't pedos. Dude. Yeah, that's weird. I don't remember Compared to Gross War, we were, like, yeah. fucking angels, yeah. Yeah. True. And compared to PK Sparks, because I didn't kill anyone, yeah. I didn't make anyone deaf, dude. That guy's definitely responsible for at least five people having like <laughs> hearing issues. Probably more. <laughs> Maybe complete deaf. Imagine a story of someone going completely deaf over like <laughs> PK Sparks videos. Some, I, hey, my son really likes had your videos, but in. we have to watch it on mute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fucking amazing. It's you. So, uh, have we talked about Pikmin 4? Did we talk about it? Yes, that? We did. Did we talk about that in the last Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. you just blocked okay. it out. Yeah, because I was just like, chirp. Do you, uh, do you remember when, when, when Josh and I used to talk about League of Legends and you were like, chirp, yeah. chirp? <laughs> I thought I was Josh, so you funny. still play League? Yeah, I you? played it today. How How is it? Dude, I haven't played in like solid I won like, one game and then years. the other game, my team's all fed, but like I did okay. Yeah. So like my ego's still intact, but like... It's whatever. I, I stopped caring about, like, getting gold in the Victoria skins a while ago. Mm-hmm. So I just play, like, for fun. Um, yeah. But I don't really play that often. I play, like, maybe once a week type shit, you know? Nice. It's, dude, it's such a deranged game. I kind of hate it. Yeah, but I like the abilities. And there was, like, a new yeah, game mode where it was, like, 2v2. And you just, like, mm-hmm. fight each other. So it was, like, kind of fun. It was, like, arena, ARAM. Though. Yeah, Arena. It was, like, ARAM, but, like... Mm-hmm. In like a circle. Chirp, chirp, <laughs> chirp. <laughs> the chirp is coming back. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, my my days of being addicted to League are like done. I mean, it's been so long, right? Mm-hmm. I'm addicted to Pikmin Four now. Much yeah. better. Yeah. Josh, tell us about. Okay, so we talked about uh, Pikmin Four, but we haven't talked about your new channel. Can you tell yeah. us more about it? Uh, yeah, I. 
I think it was like two weeks ago now, I uploaded my first mm-hmm. video on it. It blew up. Uh, so I made like nice a follow up video and it did still, and that one did really well. And then recently I uploaded a third video and I'm just planning on making like uh, a gaming channel where I just have like really high quality kind of gaming discussion videos. So is it monetized now? Yeah, it's monetized now. Hey, let's fucking go. Yeah. But for How the much f- are you making off of your popular video? Well, it got 100k views before it even was able Without to be monetized. Without monetization, yeah. yeah. But the last 40k views were monetized. I've made like 200 bucks off like... Dude, let's video. fucking go. Easy. Yeah, so. yeah that really popped nice off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. My, my, my goal was 1k and my stretch goal was 10k and now it's at 146, so... How many right. subs do you have now? Uh, almost two k. Nice, nice. Yeah, so it's it's going really well. I'm having a lot of fun with it, uh, mm-hmm. and it's like the most fun I've had making videos in quite a while. So. I love it, and I'm glad it's doing well because mm-hmm. yeah, now I can do multiple things. Uh, and uh, in, uh, in, in response, I've hired like editors and helpers for my other channels. Mm-hmm. So I can still run them while not having like as much time on them so I can focus on the gaming channel. Yeah. So now I just produce more content and I like it. make more money and stuff. So that's cool. Nice, man. Love yeah. that. And so then, tell, yeah. me, mm-hmm. tell me about the editing process, uh, the, you know, hiring an editor. Because when, when I go on streams or whatever, people recommend me like hiring an editor but i just feel like that means you lose complete touch with like your videos like if i uploaded a video not edited by me i would just not feel comfortable because even if i can like review and like look at it and like make changes it that it would just not be something made by me so it would just feel kind of awkward no well once you edit for a long time you find a certain formula right and if they're a fan Mm -hmm. and they've watched your content they can replicate that formula and then you can do the finest finishing touches on it to make it okay. how you would want to make it. Uh, the way I found them, though, is I uh, made, like, a little application form in, like, Google Forms. Oh, and nice. And I posted it onto my community tab. And I asked questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me actually go to it and sh- read nice. out the questions I asked for yeah. the editing. Max, you can put that on screen. Thank you. Uh, okay. Let me It'll just take a minute <laughs> okay. to get to it. <laughs> Well, I'll send a screenshot of it, too, so I don't have to read it out for you guys, I guess. Oh, no, it's kind of long. Okay, so I basically just asked, like, uh, do you watch uh, Bo Black streams? What time zone are you mm-hmm. in? How long have you been editing for? Uh, links to, like, examples of videos they've edited. Have you Your edited portfolio. for another YouTuber before? Just so I know, like, mm-hmm. uh, what to expect. How much time can like you it. dedicate to editing? Uh, what times you're available to contact and what days? And then, like, at the bottom, I'm like, pitch yourself optional so I can, like, read mm-hmm. people's, like, what... It, uh, you know things and i got like 40 submissions and i found some pretty good editors because there's some people who are really good at editing but have no clout Mm -hmm. and those are like the best (laughs) to get because like they're not busy with other shit and they're really good Mm -hmm. at editing and they can like help enhance and it's also really good if they already watch your streams and already know your content so that you don't have to, to like, know what you yeah to know what you yeah, want right you don't have to teach I them like that it. much but there's always going to be like a little bit of like okay i'd like it like this or whatever like mm-hmm. a, a bit of learning process and back and forth and trial and error near the beginning but then once you uh kind of establish what you need and they understand fully uh mm-hmm. then it can just go smoothly after that so yeah i'll um you know, I'll just like link you the form and you can like look at it. You don't obviously don't have to check it out, it yeah. out but because like, you know, the reason for this is like just general curiosity. But the other is like just yesterday I was done with a video about RuneScape. So, you know, just to give you some context in the game, there are like bo- like big bosses, right? That you can like like fight multiple times. And then they have this like little drop that's a mini version of the boss. So it's pretty so it's pretty cute. So it's like a pet, right? Yep. And basically it's like really rare to get so what i did was like this you know semi new concept i mean that i could like do for the channel um where i do nothing except kill that boss until i get the pet and then recently i did that with one but dude it took like uh going over the entire thing it was like like 42 days of streaming for me to get that shit right so i was like so i loaded up 42 three hour plus vods 
on Premiere and it dude, it was like fucking crashing. I'm like, fuck. So that's so that's one of the like times where I said, okay, maybe hiring an editor might not be a bad idea. So I'm like, Yeah, Jesus. and also the way you would edit something like that is you'd put like mm -hmm. one or two VODs into Premiere, edit it down, and then do the yeah. next two or the next three. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did next. So like load one, highlights, load one, highlights. Yeah, but it's but, a lot of like then, tedious mm -hmm. work and like listening back to yourself yeah. and stuff. It's much easier to get someone else to do it, especially if they're watching it for the first time through editing. Mm -hmm. Like it makes it like less tedious for them and less boring for them. Yeah, makes sense. And they're more like inclined to do it faster. But mm -hmm. you've already lived through it by streaming, so it's like kind of boring. To edit. It's not like fun to edit. Yeah. Like oh, even if it's a good moment, it's like okay, well I live that moment, so it's like. Mm -hmm. But they're watching it for the first time through editing, so it's not as boring for them. And they get paid. That's true. But that's the other point. I just want all the money to myself, you know? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a poor Mexican. I guess, but here, if so. you, in, uh, you end up making a profit if you uh, increase, like, your output production tenfold. Mm -hmm. Also, what I like to do is I like to promise them a percentage of the revenue so that the more views the, the video gets, the more money so, they yeah, get. Yeah, the more effort. And mm -hmm. then they are incentivized to, like, put better effort into it. So, yep, yeah. Makes sense. So, like, if you're going to be, I guess, losing a little bit of money because you're giving them a percentage of money to them. Yeah. But, like, if you upload, like, three times more videos, then that's overall mm -hmm. more money. Yeah, it's so, not yeah. a fan. Not a fan of hiring editors? <laughs> yeah, because, like... I don't know. I just I just feel like I would... Yeah, like, uh, like I told you, just, like, lose touch with what I make. So, I don't know. Uh, like good idea, I, I understand that, and I was super hesitant for editors too because of mm -hmm. that. But like, I only I don't get them to really do the creative process. I just get them to do like the grunt work, like cutting the out tedious, yeah. live stream highlights. Like with those forty two vods, like, are you really putting your creative input into the highlights? It's just choosing what moments are good and cutting them up. Like anyone can yeah. do that, right? Mm -hmm. So like, if the, if it was edited, if they were editing like your how to guides or whatever, I get that one hundred percent. But if it's live stream highlights, you can easily hire an editor for that. Hmm, I like that. Thankfully, my channel isn't like all about like, oh, stream highlights for this week or whatever. So yeah, whatever. but the more content, the better. So, yeah, but I mean, it's up to you. I'm just saying like why I like it and what could be good for you. But mm -hmm. I'm not like trying to you can do what you want. Your channel's doing good regardless. So like. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of pop. The scapers, dude. Speaking of uh, channels, Max, when the fuck are you gonna fucking stream? Uh, I see your your two fans in your Discord like going like, "Hey, stream, stream, <laughs> stream, stream." I don't know. Uh, I've been I've started studying for my next exam, so that's kind of taking another fucking there. exam. Oh my god, he likes it, dude. It's like his crack Wait, cocaine, fuck? dude. That's it like is. Saying, oh, oh my god, another, another passing raid, an actual dude. Like Passing an actuarial escaper. exam is like the highest. Do you actually high. get a hard on for that? I mean, not a literal hard on, but like a mental one, yeah. Yeah, like dopamine, yeah. I mean, Max, you should you have prefer? seen me uh, when Max, I got my Max. results back from my yeah. last one. Like, I mean, first of all, it's so suspenseful because I mean, like, everybody who took it gets <laughs> the results the same day. So, Good like, they're you. all trying to access the website at the same time, but it's, so it's like crashing and everything. So, you like never mm -hmm. know when you're actually going to be able to get into it. And then, mm -hmm. like, you finally get the results, and you see, like, the pass, and then I'm just, like, so ecstatic. Those, oh, my God. It's such a high feeling. It's great. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, when you also fail, then it's, like, the exact opposite. But It's like gambling. Yeah. Basically. Well, I mean, there's, like, less luck involved. Except it's, not, it's based involved, on skill, yeah. But I'm it's sure like, the feeling is similar. It's, like, know? the feeling of, like, am I going to win or am I going to lose, dude? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's basically, Max, I mean, that's what it felt like, yeah. Last Max, what do you like? What do you like better, the feeling of passing an exam or the feeling of a big cock going up your ass? What? Mm, I don't know. Probably passing an exam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that uh, that kind of puts it into perspective how good it feels. Yeah, exactly. Let's go. Nice. Man. I mean, yes. pretty happy. Better than yeah. sex, dude. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. In some ways, yeah, it just is. like getting a ninety-nine in RuneScape. I like it. Yeah, yeah, see? So. so, like, you being like, oh, another exam for Max is like us being like, oh, you're doing another RuneScape raid, dude? 
<laughs> I mean, also, I get like a raise when I pass too, so that helps. Yeah, so, you know, yeah true. He makes bank. Incentive. What do you? What do you? What do you get for winning a raid? Like fucking <laughs> gamer points. <laughs> I mean, I can I can give you a TLDR. Gamer cred. So basically, cred. there's um last year in September, the company. Well, I mean, the game released a new raid, and I did it. Uh, maybe like when was this? Like it was like back in March, I think. I was doing it solo, and there is one item there. I mean, to, I mean, should I get into gold or whatever? I mean, not to like explain the economy very quickly. I got the most expensive item from that raid twice in like the span of like two weeks, all by myself. So that, like, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to explain it in a way that makes sense because you don't know about like the the economy. Just say how so lucky your skill. Can you it sell was them to... for real money? No, 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 no. I, I never do that because that's against the rules and you can get your account fucked. Oh. <laughs> but let's imagine that, um, I don't know, every time you go there, in order to get that, like, super expensive item, it's, like, maybe one in, like, over, like, one in 200. But every time you do it, it's, like, at least 35 minutes. So it's not like you can, like, pump it every, I don't know, like, every every few minutes. So yeah. I got two of those, and right now, in the game, I literally have every single thing I need. Now I'm just, like, grinding for the little pets that I told you about, which is kind of, like, the only fun that's left in the game. Because I have all the levels, I have all the money, so I'm just, like, going for, like, other shit. So you're, like, um, maxed out in the game? Because I saw, yeah, it's like, mm -hmm. uh, like, Moist Critical upload a video. He's, like, my greatest oh, yeah, accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, he maxed, right? Yeah, he, yeah. Is maxing out, like, mm -hmm. and it took him 12 years. How long did it take you to max out? Uh, I went f literally full autistic degenerate neat mode on it. Um, and from the moment I made my account, I was like, all right, I'm going to get 99 everything. It took me a year and a half. And I don't know if I told you or if you remember from any of the previous like videos or podcasts, there was a period of time back in like 2019 or 2018 that I was unemployed for like two or three months. So in those two or three months, I was like literally playing like a degenerate for like at least 10 hours a day while I was like searching for a new job. So it was like huge. It was like such a huge boost. And now, I mean, that kind of like balances out because right now I can only play when I stream and when I'm recording something. I mean, not to sound like a victim or whatever, but it's like, all right, I want to play RuneScape, but no, I have to edit a video or I have to make something. I have to plan or, you know, my classes. So right now it's like shit. Like I, if if it wasn't for my streams, like I don't, I don't think I'd have like a lot of time for it. Yeah. So, yeah. so critical sucks. You took twelve years to do what you could do <laughs> in, in almost two, or under mm -hmm, two. Mm -hmm. I'm, sucks, I'm better than sucks. Charlie confirmed. Yeah, yep. yeah. Better scaper. A hundred percent. Confirmed. Hell yeah. But yeah. You know what? Every single time I try to explain RuneScape to a non-RuneScaper, I just hear my explanation and i just find, like find it boring but when you <laughs> play it it's like, like dude it's like such a different like uh like dude like such a different feeling it's like explaining Whenever... pikmin <laughs> i can't verbally explain why pikmin i mean i can so i can understand it because i've played it yeah yeah you've played it but then but, uh -huh, like... but then to someone who has never played it it's like uh, uh so well, you grab it you grab little insects to get treasure and it's like oh okay that i've literally had cool. to do that to like people <laughs> sometimes that i like work with because I was meeting mm -hmm. with a lot of them right after Pikmin 4 yep. came out. So they were like asking what I was doing lately. And I'm like, oh, I'm playing this new Switch game. And they were like asking about it. And I was literally trying to explain it in like the simplest way possible. And I was like, oh, it's like a game about like little ant creatures. You're like collecting treasure. <laughs> They're like, oh, okay. They probably thought I was crazy. Ooh, sounds kind of cool, brother. Yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, dude, it, it's even worse when you explain RuneScape. Because like in order to play... Maybe not play. In order to enjoy RuneScape, right? You have to be at a very high spot on the spectrum, right? Because, like, 95% of this game is about gaining levels, money, and, like, just, like, literally seeing a number go up, right? Yeah. So it's, like, how, how do you explain a game where most of the fun is just, like, you clicking on the... On, on, dude, on, like, one spot. So, like, you know, to give you context, there's a skill in the game called woodcutting where all you do is chop trees and gain experience. In order to get a 99, which is the highest level possible, you have to spend like maybe anywhere between 150 to like 250 hours just to get like a 99 in a little cape, right? So how do you explain that being fun to someone 
I mean, just it's, say it's, it's like it's a weird. grinding game, and some yeah. people like grinding, and then they'll understand. Number go up, but yeah, or like but those, or like yeah. those cookie clicker games or something. Oh, like yeah. that. oh my! Well, I mean, but that's kind of stupid because like you only get more <laughs> cookies here. Like your your numbers actually mean something, you know? In, right, in any yeah. like MMO, the cook. cook well, I mean, they mean something clicker. in the game, just like the cookie yeah, they mean numbers some, mean, yeah, something they mean something in that game. Others, so that nah, makes sense. I don't makes know. Sense. I don't know. I'm not gonna criticize. It, so. I'm not gonna criticize other person's dopamine when when I have my own. So. It yeah, I mean, I get dopamine from passing math tests, so who am I? Yeah, that's kind of sad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that is kind of weird. Yeah. It is, yeah. Like, what, uh, it's it's like, uh, it's kind of like having daddy issues in school, like you didn't get enough <laughs> satisfaction <laughs> from high school tests, so you have to, like, I mean, yeah, I because didn't. Max was such a fucking nerd. I, I did a nerd back then. High school has never challenged me until I started taking actuarial exams. I'm serious. Fuck, like, dude, you sound like such a nerd. Oh Holy my god, shit. big brain, dude. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, dude. I'm I just like I, I think school. it's badass. I hate Sam, it. Sam, I mean, I didn't bad. say that I liked it. I just it's never been challenging for me. Okay, 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 okay. Studying Sam for my is... first actuarial exam was the first time I actually had to like study for an exam. Mm -hmm. Like I never had to do that. Yeah, okay, dude. How I'm do you serious. study for for math exam? It's like, oh, here's this new formula, and you have to use it with these variables. Yeah, the result. basically. Okay. Or like now I'm getting into the ones where there's like facts you have to know too. It's not just like numbers. Oh, I mean, I guess it's, it's more than math now. It's more like math, insurance, information. So there's oh, like okay. insurance, accounting, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What I'm doing You're now. an accountant, like bro? No, but you have to Do actuaries have to know some sort of accounting stuff. Dude, I trust Bobbery you... to mm -hmm. do my taxes, Dan. I don't even trust myself to do mine. And Fuck. I'm sure yours are way more complicated than mine. <laughs> Especially because you live in Canada. Uh, I fucking hate taxes, dude. Bro, listen. Actuary sounds like such a fucking complicated like topic. or like I mean, uh, it is. What, Most people don't this, even know it exists. Word? No, because like, I had... I had people, you know, I had friends in college that were studying that shit. And it's like... Really? It's like a combination. Dude, you have to know... I, I had a few... I mean, I, I, it's... I mean, not really friends, but I... I knew a few people from another group of friends that was like, oh, you're an actuary. Oh, cool. What do you do? And it's like, oh, yeah, we have to like do a, like a little bit of programming. And then you right now told me that you have to know a little bit of accounting. So it's like, yeah. hey, what the fuck? I mean, it, yeah, the, both of those things are true. AIDS shit. Because like on the job, I mean, I mainly use Excel, but there's also like coding mm -hmm. stuff that I have to do like R. That's like a statistical hello programming world. languages. Print. Hello, hello world. world. <laughs> In school, I, I had to take classes on Java and stuff. <laughs> print hello world <laughs> one plus one <laughs> equals variable or whatever Basically. two plus two is four minus one the three quick whips yeah you could program it to say that uh speaking speaking of video games i mean i know we deviated a little bit from it but have you guys watched the? Uh, are you guys fans of going to the movies or not yeah um yeah are you going to go watch well i guess neither Barbie of you can. Dude? Oh, I did just go Dude, see Barbie, Barbie but no, I was going to say uh, the, the Eras Tour movie coming out on October 13th, wait, but only in wait, the US. Wait, is that, so is that really a movie? It. Yeah. Dude, disgusting. It literally got announced today. But you already went to the concert. So? Stupid. <laughs> anyway, my, my no. question was, you, you guys have to watch Gran Turismo. Holy shit. Mm. Such a good movie. I prefer the Eras Tour. I prefer Barbie. Or Barbie, Wait, yeah. Josh, Josh, you're trolling. Dude, it's woke. I love it. Dude, it's such a dog it was shit movie. Good. How is Men it dog bad. shit? Dude? Men bad. Men dude, are that bad. was the He's... best part, dude. Yeah. You Finally, the, 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 the best part was when Ken took it o took over the world, dude, and women became slaves. <laughs> <laughs> True. That's the only good part, honestly. Yeah, dude. But it's kind of offensive just looks like to such men. A dog shit woke. The whole yeah, dude, absolutely. Like Isn't as that, like, a man, I'm, like as a straight white man, like I'm offended. Like we're not that bad. We just want to own everything <laughs> and be in control. What's wrong with that? Straight white men. Yeah. I don't know. Too I many mean, women listen, in that the, movie, man. Yeah. The movie was like, uh, what do you call it? Like, I was hesitant on going to watch the movie, but like Cynthia was like, "Oh, please take me to the movies." I'm like, "Okay, shut the fuck up. Let's go." Well, she um, must have loved it then. No, she also thought it was dog shit. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, because she she's not woke. Uh -huh. um, so basically, <laughs> we go to the movies, right? It starts. 
I was hooked on the first to 20 minutes because it actually like felt like it was going to be like not about oh Barbie Barbie world, Barbie dildo, Barbie clothing, Barbie cock Barbie or whatever, dildo. right? <laughs> so like dude, I thought the movie was going to be all, like happiness and like rainbows and sunshine, right? But then the movie starts taking this turn of like, oh wait, Barbie has some like dark thoughts and she needs to go fix them. I thought her fixing those issues meant, you know, finding more about, you know, who she is. Or dude, I thought it was gonna be like this like deep psychological journey of like discovering yourself. Turns out you go to the real world and it's like, oh, men here kind of suck. They're in power, they cat call you, they 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 spank your ass. Dude, it's such a dog shit fucking movie. They tried the to make part it about accurate. it. Yeah. Dude, I mean, yeah, but when you walk down the street, you're not gonna get your ass spanked in like two seconds after coming out. It's like literally a yeah, men painting movie. Because I'm not a girl. At least two minutes before that happens. <laughs> at um, least two minutes. <laughs> but but yeah, they tried to make one complaint I do have about the movie mm. is they did try to make it like deep, like oh Barbie's evolving or whatever. At the end, she becomes mm. like a real human or whatever. Yeah, that, that part was, a was cringe. Too I don't give a fuck. Weird. Her character development. There was like barely any character development for her, which yeah, is fine. Which is it's a Barbie movie. So bad. But don't act like there is character development. Like bitch. Yeah. Like who cares about Barbie? Did Ken have and the more worst character part about development it. than mm. her? But yeah. The also a bad part about it is like like I mean sure it I understand it being like a you know maybe not like a phenomenon or like the movie of the year or whatever I mean I understand it definitely for, was a phenomenon. Shut, literally shut fuck up I'm talking thank you so like <laughs> I I, I understand a lot of people liking it it's definitely not a good movie whatsoever I think if you like it you definitely have to be either fat or on the on the on the like woke spectrum where you like hate all men and you want like fat. capitalism to fall or whatever but. Why do you after have to be movie, fat to like it? Shut the fuck up, I'm talking. So after the movie, like, goes, <laughs> like, fu- I mean, after, like, the opening or whatever, and then people start going, like, oh, Barbie movie is the first movie with a solo female director to, like, do this. And, dude, can't we, I mean. Is that true? Have, I don't uh, I think I saw a few There's headlines no about way. it being, like, They didn't let the m- women direct movies until yeah, 2023. Cringe. That's not Actually real. cringe. That's not Did real. Women, women doing things in 2023? Nah, man. No, wi- women have directed movies get, before 2023. What? Get out of my Barbie house. There's no way, dude. No you women here. You can't just, like, exclude half of the fucking population from yeah. making movies all the way up until Severely 2023. Cringe. When we haven't been like uber misogynistic for at least twenty years, dude. Yeah, uh, but I mean, only a little bit. Yeah, but it was like, oh yes, and then just dude, that's like this, like all of this praise for, I don't know, dude, just like the entire thing just rubbed me the wrong way. I, was I like, mean, okay. I guess the praise is over exaggerated, but it's. An, I mean, I wouldn't it say is, it's absolutely. a bad movie, but I wouldn't say it's it. auction. It's I mean, I I, w- it I had fun. Movie. I had fun for the first twenty minutes. That's well, that means twenty minutes of it's good for you. So yeah. Uh, but but I, I respect I think we can all your agree. opinion, even though it's I respect coming from too. a man. <laughs> oh yeah. my God. Do you really get to but have I an think, opinion? I think we can all agree that Oppenheimer was better. So yeah, I haven't seen Oppenheimer yet. Yeah, Dude, I go watch it. I, I, I should. But... It's really good. I want to see it in IMAX, and there's not an IMAX. I want to see don't do it. it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a scam. It's a scam. I watched it in IMAX. It literally doesn't make a difference. I am never in my life watching a movie in IMAX <laughs> ever again. Why is it a scam? Such a scam. Because, like, I saw a video, I think I was watching, like, one review of, like, you know, this shit. I, I like to watch reviews, no spoilers, prior to a movie to see if, like, you know, it would be a good use of my time. And then someone was praising Oppenheimer. I was like, wow, this movie's so good. And then they go, like, all right, if you can, watch it on IMAX because it's so fucking good. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> go to the fucking movies. IMAX tickets are, like, twice the normal ticket for, a, for like, a seat. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm rich as fuck, so it doesn't matter. But, <laughs> like, um... It was two uh, pesos instead of one. <laughs> two pesos. <laughs> um, Calaverita. So, <laughs> the kids outside Calaverita so I can watch Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, dude, like legitimately, I have no idea. I mean, I'm blind as fuck. You guys know I'm blind as fuck, right? I have no idea how it's like not a, I mean, I, I don't know how it is allowed to have IMAX fucking theater. I mean, the screen is bigger because the... The, you know, the, the the movie room is bigger, of course. But it, it, like, literally looks exactly the same. There's no difference. There's zero difference. Literally oh. zero. But, uh, yeah. But Don't you, you said the movie is good. 
right? The movie's a mm-hmm. hundred, dude. The movie's so fucking good. Yeah, go I'm, I'm gonna watch it when it comes out on mm-hmm. like streaming platforms or whatever. Yeah, it's probably been a while since it came too. out, so like I might as well wait. It wouldn't it come out on streaming platforms in like a month or so from now? Or? Maybe, yeah. yeah. I don't know which one though. Well, I, 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 I'm I think rich as fuck. Fox, I can get right? any of them. I just mean like watching it at home, you know. Mm. Probably Disney Plus. Well, I'm not it's rich fine. as fuck, but I just wanted to say that because Sam said it. Dude, you're rich as fuck. Shut the fuck up. In Mexico, yeah, I'm rich as fuck. I mean, also in Canada, no? <laughs> not really. I'm. Are I'm. You I mean, in I'm like upper middle class. Mm-hmm. A famous YouTuber is not like rich as fuck in Canada. Wow, failed capitalistic system. Capitalistic pig. Down with the patriarchy. Yeah. I mean, the average year per year is 60K, and I make 100K a year. Or like uh, 90K That's pretty. A year. Yeah, I, I'd say that's it, like it's upper It's above average, class. but I'm, I'm mm-hmm. not saying rich as fuck. Rich as fuck is like I can buy anything. I can't really buy yeah. anything. But I'm well off. Sure. You have a fucking Tesla. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not rich as fuck. Hmm. I'm like top 10%, not top 1%, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I am blessed and like really well off. I'm not saying I'm poor. I'm just, yeah. you know. Yeah, I've seen your apartment. Ooh. I haven't. Didn't he show it to us? You guys should come over. Oh, right now. let's go. Right, <laughs> right now. now. <laughs> okay, well, let me well, drop soon, everything. Soon, soon. Ironically soon. But I don't, I don't know when we can, but yeah. Dude, going to Canada must be... Dude, Josh, how long was your flight from Canada to Mexico City? Like six hours direct. Ah, it was not that bad. But, yeah, it was direct. There's no way I was going to do layovers with, when mm-hmm. Mexico yeah, was fuck involved, that, honestly. dude. <laughs> like, what? Like, I could be, like, I could be, like, dropped off at, like, Cartel Airport for all mm-hmm. I know. Like, take me straight to Mexico City right? and fuck off. Did I show you guys the... I don't know, wait... I think we talked about, um, what do you call it? I think we talked about the time when we went for Cynthia's visa, right? I think, uh, but I don't remember the details of the story. Yeah, so yeah. basically, I mean, just just to give you like a really, really quick uh, rundown. Yeah. Uh, her visa interview was at a place quite literally like close to the river separating like the US and Mexico, right? So the thing about it, is that we go to this place where it's literally cartel, te- uh, like cartel territory, but there was no other way to like go about it. So we go there, and it's like we land on this airport, no bigger than you guys remember my wedding, like uh, what do you call it, my wedding room venue. Yeah, venue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No bigger than the room for that, and it's like literally just like one like line or whatever because there's like no one coming in yeah. we go out there as soon as we leave the airport there's like three national guard trucks like you know <laughs> just like guarding the shit we did we go there it's like so many police officers and did and, you know, we were talking to the to the taxi like driver it's like hey um is, is it true that this place is not really that great and he's like you know it's not it's maybe not as bad as you see in the news but it's not a good place to be and, and we're like ah oh, fuck <laughs> so um, yeah, if you had to, I mean, that's not a an airport to have a layover, but yeah, that is literally <laughs> the scariest, the scariest fucking experience I've ever had. I'm also gonna send you um, I'm 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 gonna try to find it. I'm gonna send you a video. Max, you can play it right now. Boom. Chicos, buenas tardes. Estamos en el hotel Roma, aquí en Matamoros, Tamaulipas, y Cynthia les va a dar un tour de nuestro cuarto. Cynthia, por favor. Sí. Este, aquí está la mesita de estar, mesa de televisión, la cama, el closet. Claro, claro. No tenemos hecho ni caja de seguridad, entonces nos pueden. Tal vez más para allá. Oh, es correcto. No hay no, caja de seguridad. No hay caja de seguridad. Ok, interesante. Y... Una silla, increíble. Wow, increíble. <coughs> ¿Qué opinas, Cintia? Tengo miedo. Uh, the video is basically <laughs> my wife and I. We show our room in a little hotel that we stayed at, 
the I mean it's literally a room with a bed, bathroom, that's it. Dude, it's so sketchy. It was so sketchy that I hated it so much. Isn't that like what a um, hotel room is? No, 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 but like dude, it was like dude, I have been in motels that look better than that bullshit. Oh. It was it dude, it was just sketchy and scary as fuck, not gonna lie. Was but yeah, it, all of this too. Uh huh. What? Yeah. Was there like? It was just a bed and a bathroom. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, in like different like separation, like you know, there were walls, of course, but dude, that there wasn't even a fucking closet. It was yeah. weird as fuck. Damn. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. yeah, but luckily, if you come over to Canada, layovers will be in U.S. A lot less Mexican yeah. cartel there to kill you. Yeah, but yeah. I can still get shot. Other people with guns. Well, you're not black. Kill you. <laughs> you are not. What the fuck? I mean, but I'm brown. It's uh, all true. the same thing. But yeah, it's they, in an airport. They hate like, anyone the air, I mean, here. realistically, it's an airport. Like, I mean, anyone <laughs> can go in there with a fucking gun, like hidden. It's like. Brr, brr, uh, brr, brr. The air airports have like the tightest security like ever. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah. 9-11? If you or had a, maybe if even you before 9-11, a... I don't know. I haven't been on an airplane prior to 9-11, so I wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. If you have a layover in the U.S., but you're going to Canada, do you have to go through, like, customs twice? Or no? No, you, you just go through customs uh, on your last stop before the country you're going oh. into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. I usually always do customs right away, though, because I'm just getting the fuck out of Canada, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Obviously. Yeah. But yeah, you guys can come up here, and I don't know what the fuck we'll do. We need a reason, but I don't know what that reason would be. <laughs> just to hang. Other than being with the boys, yeah. Just guys being dudes. Just dudes being dudes. We can just finally boys finish, being boys. We can finally finish <laughs> newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. Oh my we just, god! Like, we we cut off. Uh, we just start continue the same file that was like done like six years ago. We start I think uploading we probably it still and then have like <laughs> we start uploading it and then like at World Three or Four or wherever we were, uh, it just like switch it like our com voices completely switch and they're like, uh, what happened? Yeah. Oh yeah, we just record the rest. Years later, we don't even explain it. Like just episode so bring six, the red episode laptop. seven. It's just like a six-year gap. Yeah, that'd be funny. That'd be really fun. Yeah. Let's Didn't you it. say you still have all the those? I still have them. Yeah. Still? I, yeah. I I think it's like seven episodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can just continue it. Oh that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. That'd be so funny to upload. Just. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like. The most like I don't even know what I said thing. in the we might need that to like so re I don't know rewatch <laughs> the last seven episodes right before recording mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, we we're probably get caught, never gonna do up. that, but it would be funny. I'd mm -hmm. be down. Just just like the gap. Me too. It'd be so funny. Unless well, maybe we can go through the editing process of the first seven and see if we need sense or anything. There might be some <laughs> N words or something. Yeah, probably. What are you talking about, dude? We've never said those words in our lives. Yeah. We're not we're not PewDiePie. True. Oh, you fucking beep. Uh oh. Whoa. Gamer word. Whoa. Gamer moment. Whoa. Why would you say that? Dude, did you guys see that there's a Five Nights at Freddy's movie coming out? You. <laughs> oh my god. I ain't watching that autistic. Yeah, it's shit. coming out the same day as 1989 Taylor's version, which is more important. Oh. So. <gasps> I would rather watch Five uh, Nights watch at Freddy's. I'd rather watch. watch fucking well. FNAF, dude. Dude, what if there's dude, a MatPat I mean, reference? The, like, literally, the Taylor Swift movie is just for, like, deranged, like, high It's not the movie. Like, 50, I said 50, 1989 50. Taylor's version. The album. Oh, the album. Well, dude, whatever. Oh. I mean, still, the movie's bullshit. Whatever. It's not a movie. It's an album. It's I was shit. talking about the fucking Eras movie that you'd mentioned before. Yeah, that's so coming out October 13th. Taylor's version sucks. of 1989 is coming out October 27th. And they're both shit. Both sucks. They're October both is going to be such a exciting. bad month, dude. Except for Mario Wonder. That's coming out in October. That's going to be October good. is such a hype month for all of my special interests. So. October might be just as bad as like June. <laughs> Why? Yeah, especially for Sam because he's going to have cause, the pumpkin cause, kids out. Because <laughs> yeah. June, dude, June is pretty hot. I don't like June. Right. Yeah, that's why you don't yeah. like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait, that, wait. that's the only reason. Why would there be another Wait, reason? I don't know. 
June's hot for you. You get the hots for what's celebrated in June. That, that's really warm. <laughs> June and July, mm. they are insufferable when it comes to fucking... Right. What the yeah. fuck was that? <laughs> you slurping cock. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. I, ha I have been discovered. Uh oh, the cat sat on the back. Yeah, that's why I keep asking questions to Max, because you're trying to, like, learn new techniques and, like, looking at men fisting assholes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. To be fair, I haven't been interrogated by him on gay stuffing. It's probably event. because he figured it out. Yeah. Like, started having yep, some yep, good yep, yep. gay Mexican sex. Yeah, he learned Maybe. how to figure it out himself now. So. Figure it out, figure it out, <laughs> figure it out yourself. For yourself. So, yeah, life's been pretty good. Life's been pretty badass. Yeah, it's been pretty yeah. good. Can't complain. Yeah. We harass people, hack them, call them the N-word, and now we're living our best life. Yeah, yeah. I guess karma doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Uh, it only it does. does. Now, Haven't you listened smart. to Midnight's by Taylor Swift? <laughs> and now look at fucking Kobe, dude. <laughs> oh, poor fucking guy. Lol. Kind of deserved, Mental not gonna illness. He's met oh losing my God. his mind. Lol, lol. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with him, but... Listen, anyone trying to cancel us, Josh has a mental illness, so he's so he's fine to joke about that, so... Yeah, I don't even know what's going on with him, but yeah, he's just mano. Wasn't there like a mano. like like a little channel documenting what like what he's been doing or something? There's there's like videos about it, like deep dives, like what happened to Kobe, and it's like an hour and thirty minutes. I'm like, I'm mm -hmm. not watching that. Maybe like if I'm even if I'm really high, I don't think I'd watch. I'd be that. I'd be down to watch it. Yeah, we should watch it together. I'd watch it with you guys. Live reaction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Live reaction. Live reaction, live reaction five, where we today. barely react to the, the content. Like yeah, like XQC. Yeah, because yeah, one of my... You're fucking... Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of my YouTuber friends is like a super big childhood fan of Kobe. He sent me this video. Name? He's Augie. He's, oh, Augie, he's, yeah. He sent me the video. He's like, watch this and you'll understand everything. So this <laughs> Did he grow this up video... with, dude, who's going to rig the place? <laughs> yeah, he unironically <laughs> likes it, <man. laughs> No fuck oh, you. Uh, Who's gonna rig the fleet? The fleet. <laughs> that song's been fucking ruined. It was a fucking decent song. I got flashbacks. Oh, yeah. checkered, I got checkered flat, background. Yeah, intro. I got flashbacks of oh. the checkerboard. Open. Oh wait, this video is only twenty minutes. I just thought it was an hour because like it, send it to me. It, it send it to me. I want to watch like it after. An hour to me, dude. I'll link it. Yeah. <laughs> wait, no, we it. should watch it together. I mean, not now. We should. We should do a live reaction for another video. What do you think? Yeah. Oh my god. What the well, this is, this? is an Who's hour long. Wait, wait, what if we, what if we stop <laughs> the TTT now and then we do a special reaction? I mean, right I, I I can't do I mean, I'm going to with a with a movies with with the wife after this like oh. I told you but but I, I'm I'm down to do it either after or 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 tomorrow if you guys are available. Yeah, dude. Who's gonna yeah, and, and, and then we can talk about dude, we can talk about all the drama that like happened with that kid and what but basically why we hated it, him so much. <laughs> Most of mine, you know, mine wasn't it literally or, like basically yeah. one sided. <laughs> what do you no, mean one sided? No, no, I talked with him and he bullied me. Remember, he bullied me for being autistic as a kid. Remember? I don't remember. Also, that. For, he did bully me. Yeah, he bullied I my let's it, play though. videos. He is like, this is I, I believe it too. Yeah. He's just Most not, he's not a good that. person. I've also heard a lot of people like uh, that I used to know and stuff be like, yeah, I used to edit for him and, and stuff like that. And I was around when him and Sully were doing collabs and stuff. And they're like huge mega assholes. Like both. I remember Sully, Sully was one shitty because he like used to be friends with you. And then he was being shitty to you. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Both of them are apparently like huge fucking cock suckers. But everyone loves just, Kobe and like feels bad for him being mental everyone who's who's everyone well I mean, just all the, the general public no we're the only like kobe haters really no nah, no way <laughs> we're the only ones who's gonna i mean listen well right they probably now, don't, I don't hate him I now mean, if he's like wanting to kill i don't like hate hate him i mean i just like remember back then like why i disliked his i mean part of it i i will agree was like a little bit of jealousy like how is this guy like getting early copies of like videos like Fucking playing and like having fun, you know, which is basically what I do. How is he having you know, fun, dude? Playing, <laughs> playing video games for a living, right? So I was like, wait, how's this fucking kid abusing this with like his over the top titles like 1080p, 100% let's play full run commentary, early copy of Super Mario, whatever, right? 
It was funny to make <laughs> fun like of, too. It's yeah. just, like, clarity. Yeah. Although, so, mm-hmm. I think P.K. Sparks was funnier to make fun of because he was like, Oh, yeah. Like, he was just and so like, such a fucking loser. Bees and stuff. But Kobe was funny to make fun of, too. Like, who's going to the place? 1080p. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Literally every video, 1080p, 60 FPS. Yeah, and, and he had, like, All his cringy tropes. me. Like, no way, oh Augie was a fan yeah, of that shit. He was, he was. Well, he grew up like <laughs> literally as a kid because he's like four years younger. Than How me. old is he? How old is he? Four. So he's like, like twenty. He's like twenty-two right now. Oh my god. Oh. Or like. Tw- I yeah, I didn't know 22. he was younger than he, me. Yeah, he's born two thousand one. So yeah, he's twenty-two. Oh, interesting. I don't like when people wear hats like in a, in a fucking room. So yeah, fuck them. <laughs> what a random. <laughs> I've never complaint. seen him without a hat, man. <laughs> Maybe he's every bald. video I've seen of him, he's always wearing a hat. Same, same, same. Yeah, same. I-, I watched the video where he was shit talking Grosgore that I fucking loved it. Tell him that I liked it. Did even though, even you? though, you remember that one fucking time where you made a group DM where like, hey, uh, we're di- digging dirt on Grosgore. I'm like, hey, you got the perfect guy for that. He never fucking replied. Yeah. Him and Turkey wow. Tom, dude, they made Grosgore videos, and I was like, wait, I, t- I, didn't I consult them, you. I referred them. I was, to I was you, pioneering. I referred them to you, but they didn't care. So they just cringe. Wow. I, I, so I, I literally guy. pioneered the gross gore. They're probably crediting or uh, You're, profiting you, off of all of your work. You had to be at least mentioned in Turkey Tom's video, though, if he did a full Never, retrospective. No, neither in Turkey. He didn't, he didn't the, the mention only, the pace spin and all that. I mean, yeah, they mentioned the pace spin, but they never mentioned me. But the only person that ever. Like mentioned me, not even by no, or maybe he said my name. Yeah, uh, I remember Tipster also made a video when when Grosgore got banned for being a pedophile, and he was like, "Oh, I have a um, you know one of Boblox's friends, a Chaos Bender, has been hitting me up for like cover this dude, cover this dude." Where it's like you know he talked about when I was a gaming channel, whatever. That was the only mention I ever. I mean, not that I want recognition or like you know like being invited or whatever by like Augie, Turkey Tom, whatever. I mean, it's whatever. Just expose the pedo. I mean, you don't even need to like. I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with, like, with, uh, dude, without, I mean. I mean, it does sound really... you're a little salty about it. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. I mean, I just don't want it to sound like, oh, they didn't, you know, ask me for information. They, like, dude, I mean, they can do their own research. I was able to find all of that bullshit on my own. But I'm, I'm not salty for them not, like, you know, talking to me, like, after Josh mentioned me. But I'm salty that I couldn't add more to it, you know. I'm just, like, salty that I couldn't, like. Sh- shit talk him even more so <laughs> right that's why so yeah Poof. yeah, yeah <laughs> it could have been turkey tom gross score video featuring chaos avenger i mean yeah. <laughs> i don't know i don't I, I mean at that point i was like fully over it i mean i still like to make fun of him for being a pedo i still uh like mention him every now and then on my, on, on my stream Saying how the dude like literally forced his girlfriend into OnlyFans and like prostituting herself to pay her, you know, his taxes. Like I, I still make fun of him, but I'm just like over it. Yeah. It's it's still a meme, but you know, my you know, I just I just don't because cause it's dude, because he's dead as fuck, so yeah. There's, there's literally no n- n- there's literally no more fun in it. So yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, we should have an <laughs> Augie versus Chaos Spender debate on Kobaner mining four five six. I mean, oh listen, that would be fun. But the only thing I would be able to say is, oh, I don't, I didn't like him because he was like milking the like title of the uh, and, and and the quality and whatever. Like that's it. I have no. You other, gotta like, look into all bullying, the research. Josh. Yeah, and you got you gotta look into all the research and go through all the history and like make him of him being manic and whatever. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, but I just don't have the time for that. Yeah, true. <laughs> I don't even have the time editors. or care for that either. Yeah. Coming full circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll find out when I, w- I watch the Scoby video with you guys. I can't get over the fact thinking of fucking like eight year old Augie going on YouTube. Oh, new Kabardi Money video. Who's going to rig the play? <laughs> he's, he's like, ju- he jumps up and down with joy as like, the fucking song plays. With- with his little fucking hat on. Mom, yeah. new Carbono Marty video just dropped. <laughs> okay, honey, just just don't break the table this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna wreck the plate? Please, please, please. He probably watched um I can't PK get over it. Well, yeah, uh, dude, dude, uh, can you ask him? Can you ask him if you if you also watched uh, PK Sparks? Yeah, I'll ask him. 
Who's gonna <laughs> check her the background <laughs> intro? Uh, that's that's a core memory. Core, yeah, yeah, yeah. Core, core trauma. memory unlocked. But yeah, but the thing is with Kobe being an asshole, a yeah. lot of YouTubers are assholes, so it's not like I'm not. Right. Yeah, so it's not like super. Not according to, to our them. hater. Yeah, oh, dude, reject dreamer or whatever. To reject. Yeah, reject mad at you, man. <laughs> Shout out to him for being such a big fan of the channel. Yeah. Run it's free, it's always free. fans. It's it's always fans gone rogue he, that are the most he's, dangerous ones. He's just a fallen fan, True. guys. He's mm -hmm. a fallen, fallen fan like H three. Even though yeah. H three told everyone to unsub, if <laughs> yeah. they like drama alert. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just what he fallen is. Fan. He, he just want. He just wants us. So I dubs does that shit too. He's like fallen fan. It's like I dubs is cringe. I dubs literally is cringe. said in his sex worker video, if you don't yeah. like that, my uh wife does OnlyFans or girlfriend at the time. Uh, that is pathetic. Then, honestly, then unsub. That's what he said. Then leave and unsub. Like, and now he's now that people mm -hmm. have left and unsub, he's like fallen fan. <laughs> <laughs> like what? You but you told know, them to like, leave, dude. How they uh, fallen? Listen, listen. Yeah. They're obedient fans. How, <laughs> how far? How far do you have to fall as a man to being okay with your part with your girlfriend or wife doing OnlyFans? Like that, that, that. Like that's just my question. Like how low do you have to think of yourself to be okay with that? It's just more money. It's, it's pretty sad. Yeah, but it's more not money really is, more like, money the, though, because she doesn't dignity. even like promote it that much. And like when someone mm -hmm. mentions it, she gets so insecure about it to the point where they'll kick them Still sad, yeah. three oh, weeks really? out from a fight when they train six months for it. Sam Hyde. Oh yeah, if you're gonna do <laughs> it, fresh. you should be like, you should be like, uh, you should have solid mental. Yeah, you you if, should. No, like, if you're gonna do it, you should be like embrace. Yeah, you should embrace. Yeah, it. yeah, like yeah. Amaranth embrace or being a whore. Yeah. Cause like I don't if they really thought that it wasn't anything to be ashamed of, then I feel like that's a, what they Yeah, doing. it's like so clear that there's insecurity there. It's just like Yeah. yeah Cause no people like obviously everyone's gonna shit on OnlyFans people, but people don't shit on Amaranth in the same way they shit on uh Anisa, and that's because she owns it, right? She still gets shit, but you know I mean she still she's still cringe, but dude, she's making dude, she's a literal fucking millionaire about it. That's what I just said. Like it's but money. Anisa got like, like, like all the hate, it? but like none of the benefit because she's just like embarrassed. Yeah. Like why would she even mm. do it? I don't know. And apparently her family hates her too because she's like Muslim. <laughs> oh no way! So wow. like all all her family she's like, hates Muslim. Her. Yeah, yeah. And she did. You know how know. like Creator Clash is like uh for like charities or whatever. One mm, of the first yeah. charities they put in for Creator Clash one was like Alzheimer's because her dad has Alzheimer's and she's like, mm -hmm. oh, I really just want to help my dad, blah, blah, blah. But apparently, and she like lied about having a good relationship with him, but apparently mm -hmm. he hates her guts because she does OnlyFans. Makes sense. Wow. That's a, that sounds like a based dad, I'm not going to lie. Based. Based as fuck. That's a lot of time. <laughs> based as fuck. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it, they're, they're just trying to like, buy his love know. back with creative clothes. <laughs> got yeah i don't know maybe that was her sin <laughs> or she just wanted like a good like story to promote the event but like mm -hmm. it was kind of disingenuous i don't really know but they're just weird man idubs and anisa yeah, in general are just weird spoke. like the only fans thing aside like completely aside they, they just act weird and they act like really vindictive and like they're very negative yeah. people he's like oh i've evolved and i'm done saying the n-word or whatever and it's like okay but like you're we still get it. like we get it yeah true you're still like evil and like a piece of shit like you literally kicked someone from a charity boxing event after six months of them training for you three weeks out because they said your wife has an only fans which is true <laughs> Didn't they like, not even get to any donate any of it to charity? Or and then he made an entire uh, video trying to like expose that guy as like a misogynist when he isn't Froggy mm -hmm. Fresh. And then yeah. because he decided to like spend so much money on like galas and frivolous shit and like paying Hassan mm -hmm. like a bajillion dollars to be there and shit like that, <laughs> Hassan he, he ended up not breaking even uh, mm -hmm. by like two hundred fifty k, and he gave Jeez. nothing to charity to Creator yeah. Clash too. And, failure and that's like a really big financial failure like it's not even like Absolutely. oh we didn't break even by like 10k or 1k by 250k 
And apparently, uh, I heard behind the scenes too that they hired like a comedian that cost like 10k for the gala. That's, oh like, my god! Expense. What the? There's fuck? so many like extra expenses. They did not need to do a gala. And he said, a like, gala. I don't regret doing the gala because we got to process our trauma afterwards. What? That is genuinely what the trauma. Said did that. they want to do the it? The trauma of getting beaten up on and greater class. Isn't that like there was one what video? They there was one video. Going Max, into? Max. There was one video by Idubs where he was like, "All right." The day of the fight, I just woke up, everyone left, and I just couldn't talk about, you know, uh, what, what was it? I just couldn't talk to anyone about what happened, so I just went back home all sad and whatever. Dude, that's, yeah, that that's sounds a, like a yeah. new problem. That's Shut what, the fuck that's up. That's what he said about Creator Clash 1, and that was his reasoning for doing the gala, even though it, like, cost charities uh, for the second fuck. one. Because he's like, oh, well, I really need to talk to people after it, and I couldn't hang out with the boys after So, so. insecure. Why don't he you needed just to hang talk. out in the hotel after Why do you have to put on a gala and live stream it and flex your money just so, like, the kids with cancer don't get any money? Like, it's just cruel. I don't oh understand that, but, like, aren't they all, like, going into this willingly? Like, isn't it just for fun, like, between each other? Apparently. Like, why is there trauma? I don't understand that. Because it's like, a really Like, weird. mental trauma. I understand the physical trauma. Maybe he meant physical trauma. No, I think he meant both. It's just really weird. Like, like the, whole, make any sense. the whole culture that iDubs has cultivated around... Has created, yeah. It's just like... like a just, like, super strange. People around them just fucking suck. Like, like, yeah. Let's just put it that way. People around them and then people he attract... Yeah, like... Or attract Ted or attracts, they just fucking yeah, suck. Yeah, like, They're think about the people he's hanging out with, like, Hassan... H three, Ludwig, <laughs> Miskip. Uh, I like Ludwig. Uh, I like Ludwig. Miskip. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> rapist apologist. Fucking rapist apologist or whatever you call it. Yeah. Go on. No, Ludwig. Miskip, Miskip L is disgusting. Lud Ludwig uh, backtracked everything he said about Miskip because he wants to clap. Oh, then he's him. a pussy. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I don't like Ludwig. Mm. All those I mean, big I, streamers are a little. I like his videos. Cunts. Like. Yeah. yeah, we talk about Kobe, but Kobe's an angel compared to those fucks, man. A uh, hundred billion percent. I mean, listen, oh, things yeah. he has done with like stalking that you know girl or whatever. Like what I ba vaguely remember about why he was being manic. Sure, it was cringe as fuck, but it's nothing in comparison with what fucking Miskif cunt has done. Oh right? my god, Miskif is my <laughs> least favorite person online. Like, I, I fought, dude. He's disgusting. Like, I has to be in the realm of more, like, more than almost, Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, way more. Yeah. Wow. I mean, Pokemon has a horrible personality and has no morals. She's just a like, double. She's just a she doesn't double really, faced bitch. She doesn't really do anything like. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean she, she's a bitch. She she, she was like. She's not malicious, but she's definitely not. To, a good person. When when the whole Miskip stuff was going down, she was like, "Oh, yeah, she took a picture with my, him, though." No? My first uh, my first priority is to help you, Adriana Lee, who's like the victim of the situation. Yeah, she's like my first. I care about woman and my first priority is to you. Then a couple months later, when Miskiff isn't canceled by like the streamer community anymore, Miskiff's my mm. bestie taking pics with him, hanging out with disgusting. him. Wow, like, really? Disgusting. Like really, your first uh, your first priorities to women? No, your first priorities to you, and you're a woman, so you conflate the two. Jeez. Wow. No, your first priorities to you, but so she's selfish. But like <laughs> Miskiff's yeah. like worse, way worse in my opinion. Yeah, degenerate. Yeah. What I was going to say that I didn't have a chance to say, which is like, like literally so out of topic, <laughs> genuinely it didn't matter. I remember when um, Anissa was streaming under the name, I think Rainbow Kids, because yeah. I don't know if you if you if you knew about this, but there's like a little nice like, um, how do I say this, like interconnection of stories. Did you know that Gross Girl used to simp for, for Anissa back when she was Rainbow Kids? She probably simped back. Anissa's like, yeah, and uh -huh. oh. <laughs> and then because of because of Anissa and like Gross Girl like harassing her like basically when Anissa said no to Gross Girl like he started like harassing her like on stream or like talking shit about her she was the reason why he got a second like warning on Twitch and then pro like after that when when you know the big thing about calling uh Crepo a pedophile that was a third strike so I am thankful to Anissa in a way for helping get Gross Girl for, uh, first man and like you know starting the downfall of his life so Overall, kind of kind of cringe person, but hey, there's something to thank to you know to thank. Wow, what that's a, weird, a that's what a really weird connection. Weird coincidence, yeah. Yeah. Who would have yeah. thought? I love these videos, dude. It's like nothing but talking shit, which what you know the person was right about. Your your podcast <laughs> yeah, is nothing but belittle right. people. That's literally what we're doing it's right now. Let's the go. Trash talk. 
podcast, yeah. pretty much. Try maybe to maybe someone. Talk. I think there's a difference though between like what we do, like just talking, like kind of low key, just kind of like out of our asses, honestly, Mm -hmm. and like actually sending hate, like sending. Yeah, even even though we don't really have an audience, but like telling people to go like harass whoever, which I you guys don't do. uh Do you guys remember the SMT subreddit? (gasps) Oh yeah, that was. was (laughs) Uh, I mean. Bath isn't like what? I mean, we literally just posted pictures of him as a kid. I mean, sure, it was cringe, but <laughs> it wasn't malicious. Uh, That's a little malicious. Uh, do, you, do you think it was? It was just like posting. little Cody next to, a, next to a car, and that's it. I don't... Mm. It, it wasn't that malicious, but it was harassing. I mean, like, it sure. could have been worse, harassing. but yeah. Didn't, good point, good point. didn't you, yeah. like, send him, like, gay porn on stream one time no it no it was ganondorf's cock yeah and, and gay he went porn. like <laughs> it, it wasn't gay porn it was oh, I, I guess Na- penis. i guess ganondorf's cock could be for straight girls too so. yeah so very... i mean unless okay. ganondorf was butt Sorry, fucking my link, brain isn't white okay. that it's way okay. yeah yeah also, your, your brain is just gay it's, it's fine <laughs> i had nothing to do with the ganondorf thing that was done completely of sam's own volition and yeah, i found I out it. about it I'll... after the deed was done Mm-hmm. Uh, Maybe that's what the guy was talking about when he said we were going after a gay person. I don't know. I don't know. I have Maybe a, he I thought have SMT a, was gay. I don't have good enough memory for that shit. I completely forgot about the subreddit until just now. So. <laughs> yeah. SMT, and it got taken down. No. <laughs> I was like, subreddit? What? We made a subreddit? And then I was like, oh. I yeah. Just oh. Maybe we are pieces of shit after all. A very incriminating episode of TTT right here. T-T-T. But we like <laughs> completely reconciled with him like two episodes. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So we're innocent. Like it's fine. Like, like if the person we were been... doing it to doesn't hold a grudge against us, why? And should if we're this not doing them? it to anyone anymore. Yeah. yeah. Even even Thomas J. Ashwell, he he was he was okay with us after we apologized and we said. Oh hey. yeah, Tom. Yeah, Thomas is cool with. Me and probably you guys. I don't know well. if he said he was ever cool with me. I think he still has uh, me blocked yeah. on Discord, but <laughs> I'm sure he has no ill will towards you. Yeah, I'm sure. You probably just. I just don't really know. Back. Yeah, probably. Happen. You could tweet at him. He'd probably be like, "I don't care." I think he might have me blocked on Twitter too. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, get fucked. He doesn't have... I mean, I don't I don't know if he uses Twitter or something. But well, I was the one that told him that we were, like, editing his, his <laughs> McDonald's sheet. Yeah, wait, you so. fucking snitched, McDonald's dude. collection. That yeah. was funny, dude. He even, like, said to me, like, it was cringe. I understand why you made fun of it. I'm like, hell yeah. My McDonald's Excel sheet of collection, dude. No way. It was pretty well, funny. I mean, I... I understand, dude. Even I had a fucking Excel sheet of my Amiibo, but like a beer McDonald's collection. Okay, it's kind of crazy. It, it was just, it was just like. funny. It wasn't like yeah, yeah. Like it wasn't SMT levels of reason to like harass him about it, but it was definitely weird. Yeah, our our uh, yeah, we used to harass people. This video, this video is so incriminating. But I don't give a fuck. It's not, dude. It's literally not. It's things that we haven't done in like I know, like I know, eight, I know. eight I'm years I'm joking. Plus. I'm joking. Yeah. It was incriminating for our past selves. For yeah, for for our past selves, and yeah, maybe. But like, there's I nothing mean, you can grab that, from, from this whole uh, shut channel. Shut the fuck up! I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm literally speaking. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's one thing. But like, you you literally cannot grab anything from this and like put it out. Like even even my jokes, right? The thing I said at the beginning, like. I don't like being fat. I don't like the fat, the body positive, the body positivity movement. Someone can grab that and I can go like, yeah, I'm fat. I don't like being fat. And I also don't like when people glorify others for being fat. Don't do it. It's not healthy. Okay. Am I really getting canceled for that? I don't know. I don't know. How sensitive are your escapers? No, no, they're pretty based. (laughs) Pretty based. So they hate fat people too. I mean, it's not like hate, but I'm I'm pretty sure... (laughs) I am a hundred percent sure anyone from my streams, like Discord videos, they can watch any of these podcasts, like videos type of thingy, and I don't think they would ever go like, "Hey man, I think what you're saying here is kind of cringe." So maybe either I don't know, tone it down, or I'm like not cool with it anymore. I'm, I'm pretty sure no one would. I mean, like, you've had some pretty big transphobic that. rants, but yeah. Wait, yeah. me? Never. Literally, never do that. Literally, never. 
Which really is a call to action, guys. Watch the previous TTTs and the previous Trash Trio content if you have not already. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> Although we're not monetized, not there, actually, but... wait until we get monetized if we ever do. Wait, no, isn't we can. The channel fucked. We can. Let's play when a game. When you go to the Who page, it literally says first? this channel is un like not no. able to be monetized or something. Why? Because of our strike? Uh, probably. I don't know. Yeah, we How probably. How does YouTube deal with that? I don't know. I just like maybe I could try and fix it, but I don't really. Care oh no, to. our our three dollars a month. Yeah, I, I was just, I was mainly just like memeing, but yeah, yeah. But, dude, the Mario... Actually, as we ended off, if there was one race, three-player race, that's currently out, so not Galaxy 2, for someone to watch, which one would you mm -hmm. recommend? I think Mario 64 Sunshine. is a really good one. Sunshine. Sunshine? I mean, that one's good, too, yeah. I think Sunshine Luigi's or, Mansion or, or, is or really Luigi's good. Mansion. Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion, Mansion yeah. is so funny. Okay. Figure it out. Yeah, it so out those are the recommendations, crazy. guys. Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, Half of Mansion it is just because Sam had all these random ass counters. Oh yeah, and, and like, uh, and like the it, it's twenty minutes. Time to stop. Like, like shit. Ten. And if not, and then you started. If you were being out, chased so by a lion, would the lion stop? I mean, listen. Wait, I wait. Shut the fuck up. I still stand by that argument. Wait, you start a race, <laughs> so and if you're chased by a lion, you fall off. <laughs> hey, lion, Mr. Lion, can you wait for me? It's like, okay, okay, run, go. I'll, I'll wait two minutes. It, that, that doesn't happen in a race. But I then, know. wait, who, who was it? Either Max or Josh that had a bad start? It's like, please restart. It was please Josh, restart. I think. Well, yeah, it's Josh Pussy. It's I think he died or something. You're comparing a Luigi's Mansion <laughs> race to being chased by a lion. I don't know if that's a good I mean, but it's the same concept. Yeah, your argument did make sense. Uh, what we should do, actually, eventually, is do, like, a reaction to Yeah, 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 please, races. please. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah. We react to our Dude, own concept. Wait. Wait, that Josh, can so you funny. actually get your, can you actually get your, like, because I have seen some of these, like, reacting videos on the format, dude, like, it can be really funny. So maybe, like, chip in, like, all of us, and then we pay an editor to, like, you know, cut everything down, like, do zoom in to, you know, to our faces and whatever. That would be a lot of fun. Well, like, live streaming? Oh, that would be, oh, that would be fun if we did face cam. No, not a live stream, just, like, recording ourselves, reacting to a video with face cam, and then, like, just, uh, just, just talk about it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah. That would be fun. And funny. Yeah. I like It'd it, be yeah. a lot of work, though. <laughs> and I don't yeah. know if I want to put that much, like, money or work. Into something or work. that's going to make zero, zero money but, again. Um, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's definitely something I want to do, is, like, do the reaction, yeah, yeah. for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. we could at least just, like, stream that or something. I don't know. Yeah, that would be easier, there. but the face cam would be better qual like better. Yeah, well, we could have general, the face but... cam while the like on the stream. I, like it. I don't know. Yeah. Well, Something sorry to, to cut the about. enjoyment, but I have to leave in like ten minutes for the yeah, movie. Yeah. Any closing thoughts? Um, watch um, our other videos, guys, and so as much as find, I'm as much find as more I'm incriminating stay. shit on us. <laughs> find more them. shit to cancel us with yeah so even the haters have a reason to watch that's true true give us money yeah honestly all the haters that have stayed silent until now come forward clearly you have a you have someone like you now so mm -hmm. band nope. together we'll come at you yeah reject <laughs> is your leader just like how chaos yeah. bender was for uh the leader for the growth <laughs> yeah. anti-growth yeah the like for, uh, what form your it, own discord or whatever <laughs> the play. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Peace. That's my there closing thoughts. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you degenerates in the next one. Masturbate a lot and take care. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Peace. Peace. Ba -ba -ba. Peace. All right. Do we even have a list of topic? Mm, nope. Yeah, should be ready. This is why Three. we need to, we Wait, need to find, two. like... Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! go. Uh, Sam oh, fucking Sam sucks. did say okay. it. Okay, yeah, Sam what? is hypocritical. That's my job, hypocrite, though. Hypocrite, hypocrite. <laughs> hippo, hippo, hippo. Hippo? Hippo? You're Don't you mean elephant fucking... like Mario Wonder? Yeah, dude. <laughs> elephant peach, body positivity. 
Mm, you know the body positivity fun. movement? Body positivity movement is the only movement without movement. Is the only is it like a <laughs> bowel movement? Because it's shit. Um, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it kind of cringe that body positivity? Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's gonna be my first topic. Okay. Do you wanna? Do you wanna do one, two, three? Go now. To sink it. Three, two, one. Go. go. Max was off. Three, two, one. Go. go. That's a little better, but it's the one for backup. <laughs> three, two, one. Go. go. I, I did it so go, by the way. Oh my god. We've been over this. Three, two, me? one, go. You guys, hello? I'm waiting for it to be at a normal pace <laughs> so I can land it. Three, two, one, go. go. It's not supposed to be challenging. Okay, well. It's supposed to be, like, easy. We're not supposed to, like, make it a challenge like it's a video game level. Like, oh, let's He does that and it's like, I time. win. I win the three, two, I one, win. Go. I won sinking. <laughs> I, I win when you guys me. don't get it. Yeah. Gold medal right, th for me. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> That's not right, that, that was not it. Three, two, one, go. go. That was better. I literally right, just always start. use the first one anyway. I, I don't think I asked, but okay. 